Hello YouTube, Ian AK Boot Collector and today I have a very exciting Nike unboxing to share with you. It is the brand new Nike Tempo 9. Now I'm really looking forward to this one. I've got a lot of Nike boots in my collection but if I'm going to choose a boot to play in, Tempo is one of my go-to ones. Before we unbox this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my uploads. Watch this video all the way to the end and if you enjoy it, smash the like button and we'll do some more videos. All right, now let's get to it. Nike Tempo 9 unboxing coming up. Yes, okay, let's get to it. Tempo 9, ninth generation of the legendary Tempo series. Now, it might be a boot that you think, ah, oh, it's for old defenders, it's for old people, it's not for me. But think back, think back to those days of like, Ronaldinho and Pirlo and how much joy and fun Tiempo players were and here they are let's get these out box away we don't need you anymore okay so first impressions wow look at this this is the new Tiempo 9 this is from the Rodacious pack and this is a pack that's going to basically going to be the Olympic pack for Nike so you're going to see this on foot at the Olympics you're also going to see this on like running shoes and other things and of course there's going to be Phantom GT and there's going to be a Mercurial series in this colorway as well. But I must say, first impressions, I really like it. I actually really like it. I mean, it's got to have Volt in it because it's Nike, of course, but Tiempo and of course the Tiempo lock up on the air hill there. But what are you thinking? What's your first impressions? Let me know in the comments below. Let's give it a quick spin. Oh, soul plate. Love a chrome soul plate with that Tiempo nut wording on the middle there as well. Look at that. I mean, this is just this is just getting better and better as I look at it as a colorway. I'm really warming to this one. I think it's gonna be really nice. But I know what you're thinking. Is this a Tiempo? You know, well, let's look at it. Look at the profile here. So apart from obviously this big side swoosh and the fact it says Tiempo, does it really count as a Tiempo? Well, of course it is. It's a nice one, you know, things move on. So what Nike are doing here, what the press release says, is this is trying to make it more of an attacking boot, more, less defender, less your sort of center back and your dad's boots and more something, more lightweight, more something for the next generation. And I know they say that a lot, but actually, yeah, I can see that, I can see that. But obviously the big elephant in the room is, what is it giving me the vibes of? Probably my all time favorite playing Nike boot. And that is, of course, the CTR 360 instant classic and I know Nike won't really like the comparison I'm making here but yeah this is a such a good boot and if this comes even close to it I think we're on to a winner let's put him away for a minute we don't need him what I can tell you is how heavy this is this is so heavy compared to this one and there this is even a size smaller this is a UK 8 and this one is a UK 9 and this is just so heavy so what Nike have aimed to do here is they've said they want to make one of the lightest tempos ever. Now, light is all very well and good, but I feel it needs some substance to it. We can go light. We've got light boots. We've got the Puma Ultra. We've got the Mercurial, obviously. We've even got the um, the new Adidas X line. But for a tempo, I feel it needs something a bit more substantial. It feels a little more like class to it. When you think back, those players like Dino, like Pirlo, yes, they were the type of players that made tempo what it is. And with this one. You can obviously see the CTR heritage here. You've got these sort of new touch pods coming in here, like in those there, look, just to give them a look, you know, I just, oh, it's so satisfying to give those a bit of a squeeze. That is gonna be so cushioned when you get the ball on there. And of course, Tiempo, being Tiempo, leather as well. Got this lovely leather, K leather forefoot wrapping around the swoosh. I do like this little design here. The way this is embossed and raised. And it's got a sort of like, little ridge to it as well, little groove. And then we come around to the tempo. And then we've got this kind of like slightly almost, it's not quite suede, but another synthetic. So it comes around this heel cup is sort of, and so some sort of suede on the inline, on the lining here. And then as we wrap around again, join back up to the leather. So where the where your ball, where your foot and the ball are gonna to be touching it most is leather. And that's most important. And it just feels great for tempo. I mean, it's no, it's no Mizuno, but from a tempo, it's really nice. It's very nice, very nice indeed. 
What do we got on the sole plate? Well, we've got a little bit of an evolution on the sole plate here. Not much to do. Let's just bring the old one into play. What can we tell? So slight changes on the on the sole plate here. So still keeping those sort of rounded that combination of studs here. And as we move down, we've gone away from the chevron in the middle to a more flatter sole. And then as we come down again, pretty much similar sort of layout on this one here. Upper wise, yeah, you can definitely see the evolution there. Gone as that pillow embossed sort of triangular pattern, diamond pattern on the Tiempo 8. And we go straight over to this lovely clean upper. I do like the tongue as well. We've got a mesh tongue in here, similar to the last Tiempo. So it's more of an evolution than revolution on this Tiempo as well. But now, of course, this one is the firm ground, but when this come out, not in this pack, but other packs will obviously, we get back to football and we see them on pitch, we'll be getting soft grounds and we're getting AG plates as well. There's also going to be obviously lots of other color options. So if white is not your favorite thing, don't worry, there's going to be other ones coming out as well. But what are we saying? New Tiempo, are we rating it or are we hating it? I think for me, it is a solid evolution of the Tiempo. And I really like it. I can see myself playing in this for sure. Definitely one I'm gonna to add to the collection. You know, new Tiempo, gotta put it in there. Is it one I would play in? I think so. Is it gonna take me away from the CTR? Well, they stopped making CTRs, so boo. But for now, I think this is a really good evolution of the Tiempo line. And I appreciate I've said that three times already, but maybe that's just because that's what it feels like to me. I think this is a really good example of where Nike are going. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the Tiempo and listening to me tell you about all my favorite things and things I'm not so sure on. If you have done, please smash that like button. If you're new here, please support the channel with a subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell notification on so you get notified of any new uploads. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below of what you're thinking about this new Tiempo. If you like this new style of unboxing, also give me a shout. It was fun to do, so maybe I should speak a bit more on some videos going forward. All right, I've been in, aka Boot Collector. See you next time.